Because of their ages, Mercedes police and the court will not release many details involved in this case. However, those in the juvenile justice system tell Action 4 News kids committing these types of crimes is becoming an increasing problem. Investigator Jose Rojas has been working strictly with juveniles for the last year and a half. It's a calling, he says, because working with kids is a different ball game. Well, the juvenile laws are, well, I have to be keeping up with them. You know, uh, they have a, um, you know, they, they do change. While many of the crimes he investigates deal with graffiti and minor offenses, the more serious crimes are the most disturbing. I've seen some uh, sexual assaults, you know, um, aggravated assaults. It's difficult to see uh, juveniles, you know, committing these, kind of, these type of crimes. As difficult as it might be, the crime has to be investigated and the child accused brought before a judge. It's here at the Hidalgo County Juvenile Detention Center where Judge Jesse Contreras says they've seen an increase in kids coming through their doors accused of the unthinkable. You know, every other three weeks or so we get a, two or three kids coming in with with that type of uh, allegations against them. Um, but it's been steady increase. District Judge Jesse Contreras says it's not their job to punish these kids, but try and rehabilitate them, give them another chance, and figure out why they're doing what they're accused of. Strongly make them understand what they did wrong, and then, of course, in the, in the process as well, uh, in, introduce, you know, psychologists. Um, some of them are going through some emotional, mental uh, problems that we do psychiat psychiatry help. Contreras says it's a balancing act, one they will continue to juggle in hopes of getting through to troubled youth. We're told the child accused of aggravated sexual assault will remain in custody pending a follow-up court appearance. In our Hidalgo County Newsroom, Katie Lopez, Action 4 News.